Hey guys, this is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged and today we're going to be giving you guys our fun review on the Aerox 3 wireless and wired mouse. But before we get started, please make sure you hit that like button to show support and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. Alright, so this is the Aerox Wired, and you guys know how we feel about this. Um, but for Christmas, I actually got a uh, Aerox 3 wireless. And my experience with the wireless was way better than the wired one, mm -hmm. as you saying for you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, yeah. Same. yeah, so the, let's talk about the good things that we like about this mouse. Um, so first, the shape. The shape, I actually like the one for the wired one, right? Mm -hmm. um, the build quality is actually... It's okay. The, there's no side flex, but there is some bottom flex, and the Moss One and Two they do wobble quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I like the. I actually like the TTC golds they use in here. The switches they have. I don't do know. I, I think I don't think they're TTC. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I they, don't are, know they are. But if there's something, they're they're rated for 80 million clicks. I don't know. Is this with their uh, switch rating? Uh, 80 million. Clicks. They they say there's something gold. I don't know. I don't know. The thing is, I actually like them, and they feel mm -hmm. a lot like TTC gold switches. If I'm being honest, I like them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're clicky and they're really tactile, and I like them. Um, I also like that there's two modes. There's the wireless receiver dongle mode, and there's the Bluetooth mode, which I actually I actually use from time to time when I'm on the go and I have a laptop. I have it on Bluetooth mode just because I don't want to have to carry a dongle, especially since there's no compartment where you can mm -hmm. put the dongle in. That's so true. I'd rather just carry it like this. Besides, I don't hardcore game when I'm on the go, right? Mm -hmm. I just use the Bluetooth mode and I just browse the web more or anything, right? Um, so I like, but I like that. Um, now let's get into the reasons why we don't think it's worth $100, right? Still, so mm -hmm. the one Moss One and Two, they still wobble quite a bit. They don't, they didn't fix that, you know, coming from. Uh, the wired version that wouldn't mm -hmm. have the same problem um but yeah the moss one and two still wobble um the feet i had to replace them dude i used the wireless version for like no lie like a minute yeah and i was like nah i'm not gonna i had some core pads already and uh, yeah. on hand so i'm like nah let me put them on immediately and it made a huge difference right a huge mm -hmm. huge difference now because of that i feel like I feel like having to spend an extra of 10, 15 bucks on feet just to replace and make them better. It's like, dude, okay, they didn't even include any extra feet in there. You know what I mean? So they don't no include extra either. feet. They don't include ribs. It's just, I feel like this mouse, right? This wired mouse should have been- The wireless? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, the wireless, I'm sorry. The wireless mouse should have been priced. A hundred bucks is, is a little bit too much. I feel like, 70 or 80. I would say I would say like 75 bucks would have been fair, mm -hmm. just because the wire the model low wireless is on, and that one um, that one has better feet off the bat, and the build quality on that, it's around the same, but it's 80 bucks. You know what I mean? And this one, the build quality is around the same, mm -hmm. and it has worse feet. Yeah, you know what I mean? Worth, and that's yeah. that that to me, in my opinion, is not worth the, the value. Um, but my experience with it was was pretty good. Other than that, um, but yeah, it, I, I it does have the bottom. On the mouse, it, it does, does have, have the, that 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 same uh, yeah, like DPI switching yeah. thingamajigger. Has um, it happened? Did it happen in game? It it did not happen to me in yeah, game. Same thing happened but game. it's still there. The concern, so yeah. I'm gonna assume if you slam your mouse really hard, you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's yeah. going to activate it. But yeah. again, that never happened to me uh, during my time of me uh, playing with the mouse. Yeah, same. Um, yeah, it's just I don't know, dude. Like like when it comes to Steel Series, like at this point, I think they're a joke. Um, yeah, the the fact that they charge you a sixty dollar mouse for a wired version. Yeah, sixty bucks. And it's dude, look guys, it's you can Still detach serious. the cable, it's sixty bucks, but the sensor on it is not even a thirty three sixty. Yeah. Um, no extra feet. No extra feet. The feet are whack. No the build quality is iffy. If you know, iffy. Um and then they come out with the wireless version and just because it's wireless, they you know, they think that they can mock up the price to like premium. Yeah. This doesn't feel like a hundred dollar mouse man no. right now. Um is it the good so is the shape good? Yeah, like, yeah, I, like, the shape shape. I like the shape. Too. I like the shape. Yeah. Uh I like the wireless version more because with the because with like the wire one, it so the sensor has high lift off distance. Yeah, and high. that's something that I personally don't like. Maybe you know, like some of you guys you know, like may don't like that, right? Stuff, yeah. Uh but whatever, but 
So on the one on the the one on the wireless one does have a low lift off distance, but yeah. again, man, a uh, hundred dollars for a wireless mouse for for this one is not it's not it's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. Um, yeah. You're gonna have to replace the feet. The feet were absolutely disgusting, just like how they are on the sixty dollar one. Uh, and it's just crazy to me how they thought they could price this sixty dollar mouse and that mouse at a hundred when you can literally get a pulse fire haste for fifty. And it comes with spare yeah. feet and uh Our, and yeah. some grips and the yeah. build quality on that thing is just yeah. a 10 out of 10. Yeah. i haven't run into any issues with it yeah. uh and yet you know but hey though you, you know what i mean ign best mouse right best mouse yeah. ign right yeah at this point this um, logo to me is like it's a joke it's a joke, joke. Yeah, it's a joke. Exactly and a joke. you know what they were doing yeah is people who don't know nothing about nothing mice. about mice yeah. they're gonna look at steel series and be like oh look oh that box you know it really pops out oh look IGN, wow, best game be mouse. Yo, mouse. that must be cool. Yeah. When in reality, they're really sending you like a $30, $30 mouse for like 60 and they're sending you a 70 to $80 mouse for 100 Um yeah, no. And it's crazy because one of my favorite mice was the Rival 310. Uh, again, yeah. and I'm gonna keep on saying that. Like, yeah. the Rival 310 was one of my favorite gaming mice. I that, that mouse was cool. But when they, but when Susan wanted to get into a lightweight scene, they, you know, they thought, I, I guess that they, well, they did get away with it. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume a, a lot of people bought these, you know, their first iteration yeah. of lightweight mice. Uh, but you know, again, they basically, if you don't know anything about mice, you know, IGN gamer logo, get it. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, know I mean? they're 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 clearly gonna trick you into thinking that this is the best gaming mouse for the know, value uh, out there. And when it comes it's to value not, wise, it's not, man. Neither really not. neither neither of these two nah. don't even hit close. Yeah. Um, if, but if you decide to get one, right, right. Let's say you decide yeah. to get one, and you're set in stone. No, you know I'm gonna I'm get the Eric Street. Besides what anyone else says, right, whatever. Um, I would literally get the wireless version yeah, instead for of sure. the wire. Yeah, hundred percent. Get the wireless version yeah. instead of the wire. Um, you can thank yourself later for yep. that whole cord thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, hey, there's no cord. I mean, like it's cool. Like yeah. it's. You mean because because like. Because because at the end of the day, it's a wireless mouse, yeah. and the wireless mice. Uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, had, having no wire, and yeah. it, it does feel nice. You know what I mean? It, I like the mouse. I really yeah. do. Should be told, yeah. we actually like even though even this one, we like the mouse. We like the shape. I we just don't just like the shape. The I literally just like the okay. shape on this one. But that, that I, I you know I did like the wireless one. <laughs> but even then, yeah, like, yeah. If this was priced at thirty bucks. I wouldn't even it's mind. It's not a bad mouse. That's what I'm saying. It's pressing 30 bucks, man. Like, I that's mean, what I'm you, saying. I mean, like, you can't complain. But, but it's not, though. That, okay, that's what I'm saying, though. It's not. Take price away. Is it a bad mouse? No. I don't think it's that bad. Bill quality no. could be better, right? Yeah, Bill quality could be better. But other than that, I don't think it's that bad. But when you take it into consideration that this is worth 60 this is worth $100, it's like, mm, nah. Yeah. Nah. I can't do that. Especially since do we tried... So, so many, many other, other mice. mice, yeah. Oh, and I just recently unboxed the G Pro Wireless. No, I think it's 120. So, for twenty dollars more, twenty five dollars more, I would rather get a G Pro Wireless. I'm gonna be honest. Or for eighty dollars for twenty dollars less, <laughs> you get the glorious <laughs> model wireless. Yeah. Like, so it's like, nah, this is like, nah. Like I nah. like Steel Series. Like don't get me yeah, wrong, I, I like, like Steel Series. Too, but and come on, man. Again, uh, I probably said this already, but you know, I don't want to be that guy to rip on a company. You know, just cause. You know, I feel like we need to give it feedback, but th this is this was, yeah. In my opinion, it was quite disgusting how they priced the mouse. Yeah, they, I mean, it really yeah. was sixty bucks. They don't even give you grips or extra pair of feet. I mean, like, what are they doing over there, dude? Like, yeah. seriously? Yeah, like, nah, you guys are not paying attention to no. what your competition no, doing, no, no, no. and that's something you guys really need to do if you guys want to keep on selling IGN gamer mouse. Yeah, and mice, I, I don't know what idea was it to put stuff, IGN but, on there, but yeah, yeah, no, don't be doing that. Yeah, not anymore at least. <laughs> yeah. Um, But yeah, that's pretty much it. This yeah. is us. And Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.